So while I'm waiting for all my local spots to dry from the snow, I stop by Notch Trail, the only spot that is almost dry. If you're new to the channel, this is the age of sessions, everything and anything about downhill mountain biking and beyond. I'll be going on on a lot of adventures and take you along with me for the ride. So please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you won't miss any action in the future. So at the moment, all my local spots are covered with snow. But there's only one spot that the snow gets to melt quickly, which is Notch Trail. According to Trail Forks, they name it the Fire Tower to 9D. And it's basically connecting to the Mount Beacon Fire Tower. It's a three mile long and it's descending 1267 feet, which is pretty awesome for this area. And to be honest, I kind of regret that I didn't come over here in the summer. There's so much to discover. And since this is the only spot that is dry around here, I came here for the past week and I had lots of action going on in different spots. Some of the spots are off the trail and some of the spots on the trail. So there's a lot of action and I won't be able to fit in one episode. So this is part one of Notch Trail or Fire Tower to 9D. So stay tuned for part two. So this is off the trail spot. It's a part that probably I'm not supposed to ride there, but I'm itching for downing sections. So any downing sections that I see around here, I'm taking it since I didn't get to ride for the past week. Since the nature of the trails around here are more like fire road, so it's a wider trails and there's less trees on the trail. So that makes it wide open and allows me to go fast quicker. The only time I come here throughout the year will be in February or March when all the other trails are covered with snow and unrideable. But this mountain is right next to the Hudson River and it gets tons of sun so it loses the snow and it gets dry pretty quickly which is awesome. At the moment it's all covered with leaves but as you know me already I'm going to dial up all these trails but it's going to take a lot of work. So for now I'm just going to scout and try to find some cool sections to session. So I figure out a quick way is to lock my rear wheel and drag the bike through the line that I won't come down. So that way I have some sort of line. There's some flowy sections and there's some really chunky sections with lots of rocks and big roots. But since it's a wide trail, that makes it a lot of fun because you can have a lot of options on each line. Really good time over here. Get this nice speed, nice flow. So I called Steve and he brought Evan and we did another six session that I'm gonna have to edit right now. So stay tuned for part two. Smash the like button, leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you won't miss any action in the future. And I'll see you on the next session.